Hi everybody, it's Lori here from The Passion at Home. Welcome to my house. This is my albatross. It was my birthday present two years ago and one day when I turned 50. And now is the time to get started on her. I can't wait to show you what the updates are going to be with Annie Sloan chalk paint. This old girl has seen better days, but she is going to be stunning when I am done with her. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Janine from the store has challenged me to having it complete in four days, and I accept that challenge. So stay tuned. I can't wait to give you updates. Here's my inspiration, this beautiful little carpet, and we will let you see what's going on. Thanks so much. Hi everybody, Lori here from The Passion at Home. I'm just about ready to start mixing my paint colors. I'm going to be using Pure White and Original Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. When you are mixing paints together, it's important to make sure that you're mixing enough to do your whole project. I'm going to be mixing mine into this airtight container here, and I'll just be pouring both quarts into it, mixing it up with a stir stick and getting to it. Um, you don't want to you should really write down what your recipe is and you want to make sure you have enough so when you're part way through your project you're not mixing and maybe not getting exactly the same formulation. Now I've cleaned first with Eco TSP. It's a great grease cutting um, agent. Uh, the Eco TSP, it doesn't matter as much if you wash it all back off. The regular TSP, it works hard to push anything off it. So you might not want to use that, not rinse it off and expect your paint to hold. But this Eco TSP is amazing. Just about getting ready to work. Hoo -hoo. Look at my girdle tools I've got here. Can't wait to show you what's happening next. If you've met my family, this is the funny part of it. When we got this trailer, it actually had bunk beds. But the first thing we did was rip the top half out. Because this is just a place for my husband and I to come and get away. And go on little adventures. But this is Carl. He comes everywhere with us. This is the bed we're sharing Carl, I don't know what we're going to do. Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick update. I've got my first coat of white paint on everything. It's just about the day of, end of day one. It's looking not great, but your first coat never does. It always kind of scares you a bit of, oh, is this going to get any better? But it is. I'm getting super excited. I My next project is going to be wallpapering the ceiling in this anaglypto wallpaper. So I'll start that tomorrow morning when it's a bit cooler. I'm going to do a backsplash with this great peel and stick tile. It's just a nice lightweight thing to help keep the weight of the trailer down. And I haven't painted this part of my cabinets yet. And guess what I'm mixing together? Olaf and Obasan Blue. Stay tuned. So I went inside and just got some of my fabrics. I've got my carpet here, some pillows, the fabric that I'm going to be covering the bench seats with. I've got my color mixed now. I ended up using Obasan Blue, Olive, and Florence. It's a beautiful rich color. Oops, some little plop plops going on there. Sometimes you have to stop what you're doing. You can get discouraged. Painting white for hours at a time and start painting something a little bit pretty. Hey, Lori here with the end of day two. I worked really hard last night and got up all the wallpaper. That was a lot of work. My hair was matted down with wallpaper paste because when you're hanging wallpaper on a ceiling, you, you use every surface possible to keep it up there. It looks great. It's covering a myriad of sins. There was no sense in pulling this down. This little trailer was not worth it. I have got a second coat of Annie Sloan chalk paint in my mix on all my cabinetry. I'm gonna need a little bit of a third. I've got my lower cabinet painted with my Obison Olive and Florence mix. I think it's gonna look stunning with some clear wax and dark wax. It goes beautifully with my little carpet inspiration. This is my vinyl flooring that I got off Marketplace, $10 a box. A total steal. It's going to be great and durable in here. Some of my soft fabrics that will be coming in because I needed to inspire myself a little bit. This great little carpet throw that will go over the back bench and the bed. 
to help uh, with Carl jumping up there. He's our black lab and man, he's into everything. That'll give me a little more durability. And over here, we've taken out the, the table. We're gonna find something a little different to put in there. We love the room that it's created for us. And look what else we've got going on today. It's raining. And I don't know if you can see it or hear it, but we got some major leaks in this front corner. We knew that already. We were going to be fixing it up. And I am so lucky. I have four children. One of them happens to be a roofer, and he has come home with some magnificent stuff, and he's going to be working with us this weekend to help some of our leak issues. Just going to leave you with this prettiness. We will see you soon. Hey, everybody. Day three around here, and there is a lot of hard work going on. The boys have taken out this front window where we saw that leak before. Um, ended up taking out the whole wall, and they've just done it in plywood and some cedar. And instead of painting it, I'm going to try dark waxing it. Stay tuned. So as you can hear in the background, they're still working hard on the outside of the trailer. I have dark waxed this raw wood here. And I just love it. I think it's going to be beautiful with the white. And it's just going to bring some warmth in. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. This is end of day three. Well, actually, morning of end of day three. We were so late into the night last night that it was too dark to take a video. We've got some great little shelves put up, dark wax, all the walls are painted, the uh, ceiling is painted. Great shelf over here, too. But we're still looking a little worse for wear. We had to pull out all the windows and cock behind them. We see the dark waxing again. I only have one more day, but it's going to start out with this. Stay tuned. I don't know. Should I or shouldn't 